Thanks for tuning back into UK Lock Pickers Lock Lab. This week's video is a special one to me because it marks a milestone in my picking adventure. Um, it's the actual, it's the hardest lock I've ever picked. It's an absolute beast. When I first got it from the locksmith in my area, who I've linked in the description below, I started to pick it, and I knew straight away when once I started to pick it, and I wasn't getting pins set, and I couldn't tell nothing about it that the lock was going to be very, very hard, and, and I was definitely right. Um, it's actually tier red, so Ruko has a pyramid system of different bands, and red's the top band. So when I looked on the chart and seen it was actually top rated, I was buzzing like, I'm not going to lie. But um, in, the, in the lock you'll see that it's got loads of security features, it's been stock modified, and it's an absolute nightmare to pick. But once you've picked it once, obviously you learn its little characteristics. and things become a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to leave you to watch the video, I just thought I'd introduce the video face to face. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can send us an email, the email address is on the about page, or you can catch us on social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or wherever. So, please hit the subscribe button, please like, leave your comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Right, so the lock that I've got in the vise today is a thumb turn style. It's an Asa Ruko Combi Plus. Very difficult lock to pick, and I'd go as far as saying that this is literally the hardest lock that I've ever picked since I've picked locks. And I've picked locks for nigh on 10 year now, on and off. Um, but up until now, this is the hardest one. So the bottom, you've got... Security pins, all Asa Spool pins, very sharp edges, which interact perfectly with the modifications, which I'll show you at the end, in the plug. It's got an active sidebar with five finger pins, which is also modified, as is the sidebar. The key looks like this. So that's where the side pins will run. They'll line up the gates and the sidebar will retract into the plug. And then that's the bit on the pin tumbler side of things. Now these two here, which is at the front, are a nightmare because you've got to you use the full depth of the as a spill so there's no everything comes into play because you've got to push it right out in order for it to be picked. So what I'll do is I'll put the key down. The key does work by the way. I'm gonna be using a John Eggington's pick. Short tension wrench with firm tension. And you might say is if I'm not getting any feedback off any of the pins, swap to picking some side pins and then refer back. Once I'm happy with everything, then I'll probably say, look, this is the, the final couple of minutes or five minutes or 10 or whatever, um, when I go on to pick the side pins. So I'm gonna shut up now and we're gonna see if we can get into this puppy or lock, whichever way you wanna look at it. So we're only looking to pick the the pins that are binding or are totally bound up. Um, and you only pick them ever so slightly until they stop being tight. Um, that's the way that I've learned with this lock to open it. So if the, if the pin's doing this, listen, springy, leave it. You're only picking the ones that are stiff, like one set. Number two is binding. When you flick your pick across it, there's no movement. And when you push down on it, there's no movement. So we'll just give them a nudge. Three. 
face the same form leaving one I believe is in the set position two's loose One of them's just reset when I touch three. Oops, two. Looking for three. This went dead. So we need to nudge. Two come back up. Three. So I'm not getting nothing new in there now at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap to the side pins. I'm just try and get save number one's loose. A little bit of movement there. On number two, so we're going to move back through the lock, see if we can get any more to set. I can't, so we're going to swap back. Quick slurp me tea, Mr. Messy. <laughs> that was coffee actually, I totally don't know why I said tea. I'm going to see if there's been any change in the feedback that I'm getting here. Two still set. Three has come up, uh, number two has come back up, just a little bit. That sounded like an acid pin setting if I knew one. Another click. That's better. Looking for the little bit of springiness to a dead stop, which I'm not getting on two. On one I am. So I think there's another ledge that I need to just get off two. Which I may have got there. I'm getting it. So. One's come back up. Check number three, springy, four, just had a nice click, one's picked, two's picked, when's three gonna bind, four needs to go more, it just went and I had a little bit of feedback just, on the L tension wrench. Checking one. Checking two. Not quite sure what's happening with three. Feedback feels a little bit weird. Nice click off four. Three may be picked, oh, and if he wasn't, he is now. Needs to go a little bit further. Three's picked now. Four needs another click. Actually, four is where it needs to be. 
Gonna double check them. One set, two is, three is, four could do with one more click, I think. It's too much feedback. Five, uh, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So, right. I'm pretty confident that the key pins are picked. So now we're gonna have a slurp my coffee and crack on with the side pins. And hopefully the lock will open. So the first side pin feels set. The second one does. Use something a little bit thinner. I don't really like these picks, um, but they do have a place in my toolkit for a reason. It's because they're very thin. Nice click off four. On three, I'm lighten up on the tension just a little bit. You will see why once it opens. Click off three. There you go. That's the Asa Rugo Combi two picked. Keep it in frame um, and get it gutted. So it shouldn't be too hard to gut this because I've already had the clips off. Um, let's get some toolage out. I'm going to lock it back up because I've got the key. So, yeah, that is a very challenging pick. Um, they've definitely went the extra mile to make this harder. Than the Asa combi that I picked a while ago. And I can't wait to show you what's actually inside. I've had me fun with this lock now. So I think I've got a person in mind who I'm going to send this or loan this lock to because it's the only one that I've got. Um, and I'm sure the person I'm going to send it to would be kind enough to send it on to someone else. As long as it ends up in my hands at the end of everyone, I don't mind. So, the thumb turn part comes off. There'll be a bit that slides out. Which is that bit. This part should now come off. That should come out. Let's 
follow it. I'll spin that. I could do with a really long follower to be honest. Where's the pins up? Pop it to one side. So the sidebar should stop there with the key. It'll prevent the pins from jumping everywhere. There they're there. Right, so in one, that's just the sidebar and the two springs. In one, sorry, six. From memory, I think all of the key pins are standard. Five. Four, three, two, and one. So that's what I've got on the bottom. They're all steel pins or stainless steel or whichever way you want to look like them. I'm not too sure myself. And then if we spin it round and take these out one at a time. So they are all there, by the way. If take one out, it should allow that one to come up. I did have some tweezers, so that is in position six. One, two, three, four, sorry, five. I'll get the next one out. Four. Three. Oh. That one was three. One. So what we've got on here, we'll have all the springs out. That's all right, that is. I've lost some springs somewhere. I don't know where they've gone. Oh no, there's four there. So there's one. Two, three, four. Looks like I'm going to have to go and search in for the other one. It doesn't help the colour of the actual worktop that I'm working off. <clears throat> Let's just see if I can find it when I stand up. Oh dear, never mind. I'll be able to make one, but that's the final pin. I can't remember where that one went, that I think was two, wasn't it? So we have five finger pins. These are all serrated side pins. I says I was going to tell you at the end, I'm telling you now. Serrated side pins to match. A serrated sidebar. I'll do some close-ups at the end, and I'll show you one of these pins, which is the side pins, which is also um, serrated. So that's the gate that you're trying to get the sidebar to sit in, and the other serrated pins, serration, sorry. And for the business end of stuff, we have... Asses spills. Mm, kind of messed up here, I? I have to put them there for now. And they're all different sizes. And I think this protected the lock against bumping methods. Using bump keys, having all these different sizes. Correct as if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the crack is. So you've got six springs in there. You might as well tip them out as well. One, two, three, four, five. This is magnetic, this mat is. That's why they're jumping all over. They look alive. 
You've got your two springs for your sidebar, which is here. Well, that magnet's very strong. On that. And what I says I was going to do is show you, this, this itself hasn't got any modifications on the inside. Um, but what has got modifications is the plug. And the plug is all undercut. I thought it was threaded, to be honest, but it's it's undercut. I don't know what made us say it was threaded. Oh, well, that side looks threaded. Maybe I've looked at that side. I'm not sure, but I knew it had some work done to it. And to be fair, um, no, it is. It's just undercut. So you'll be able to see how effective these are. Because the spool itself, the body of the spool, get caught on the undercut part of the plug, making it an, a bitch to pick. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. If you haven't been to our Facebook group yet, it's called Lockspot Anonymous. All the links are in the description below. If you would like to follow us on social media, I'm on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and Google+. Plus. I have got a, um, uh, a profile on Tumblr, which I don't really use very often because there wasn't very much action going on there. But I'll, I'll link everything in the description below and I'll put me social media tags here or the icons um but yeah i really enjoyed that one um bitch to pick and this is going to somebody um so be expecting it it's going out on low i'll leave you a nice um slideshow at the end some nice close-ups and it is a little taster this puppy is next week's video happy stock lock sunday everybody please subscribe like and comment, it's greatly appreciated. See you on the next one. I, 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 I,